I kind of blinked, but we got a uh, remote dual documents now. So this, I'm very happy to see that these docs are out. These have been out for a little while. I missed them, uh, but John brought these to my attention. So this is very important if you're playing this. This is also the remote dual ban list. Okay, I repeat, remote dual has a ban list. Okay, so always remember, these are the easy things to know here. Place your camera so that your entire field is visible. Communicate with your opponent. Announce your phases. This is all basic Yu-Gi-Oh stuff that you should be doing. You should know this. Announce your actions. Play at an appropriate, considerate pace. Avoid unnecessary actions such as fan... Uh, yeah. No hand shuffling. That's crazy. Allow your opponent a chance to respond. Confirm to your opponent each action is fine. Allow time for any lag or frozen video to catch up. This is very true. This is so easy to deal with. Okay? Speak clearly and repeat yourself in case your opponent doesn't hear or understand you. These are all normal things you should be doing in regular Yu-Gi-Oh! anyway. Keep your hand visible, keep your deck visible while searching. If you and your opponent's video is disconnected, freeze play until the video chat is returned. Make sure you and your opponent can see how many cards are in your hand without revealing well cards in your hand. Easy. So you should make sure that your field zone is all appropriate, that you can see. Easy. All right? Uh, remote dual practices use an empty space for graveyard or banished. Okay, so light can cause glare on your cards. Be attentive. All right, do your best. Make sure you can determine columns. All right, easy. All right, just make sure alignment's good. Uh, when cutting your deck, uh, ask your opponent how many cards to cut. Changing control of a card. Okay, so this is something that shouldn't be that hard. Keep blank note cards uh, nearby in case a card control shifts to the opponent's side of the field. This is fine, all right? So you just write on the card what you're supposed to do. This is all easy stuff that we're supposed to know. Uh, be careful not to accidentally mix these cards into your deck or graveyard. So if you own a copy of this card, uh, place it in another sleeve here, all right? So easy to define wh whose card it is. Easy peasy. All right. So... Uh, duelists have 50 minutes for these rounds, by the way. Now, cards that should not be used in Remote Duel. The following cards cannot be used in Remote Duel events as their effects cannot be properly resolved in a Remote Duel environment. Cue the memes. And by cue the memes, I mean all of the Yujo friendship memes. You know how bad our community is with these types of things. So... What what makes these what makes these cards how how can I not resolve these all right so we're gonna I I just want to talk about these so exchange both players can reveal their hands and add one card from each other's hands to their hand now I actually found this one a little bit weird now bear with me here up here in our our policy documents it does state that if a card opponent would shift control please have a note card next to you that you can write on to ensure the name of this would actually be relatively easy to do um if you just you exchange cards with your opponent just grab a note card or a sleeve write the name on it put the card into your hand as you would for anything else but i guess for simplicity's sake we want to make sure that that does not become an issue i I could micromanage that really easily, I would feel, but I guess based on the premise of this, it would be, I, it doesn't resolve to the proper function, I guess, that they would feel. But it is definitely a lot more doable than other things. Exact same thing here with Amazon as Chainmaster. Uh, I guess based on the logic of creating said ban list here, uh, their logic would be they can't fully read the card text. Uh, but remember, Amazon is Chain Master. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can pay 15 light points, look at your opponent's hand, and add a monster from their hand to your hand. Now, I get this based on the same principle here. I would once again like to argue that if I can take a note on a card to define the name of the card, that if things like Exchange and Amazon as Swords Master to the same degree are physically doable. But once again, I understand the hassle that we do not want to involve ourselves with with creating the situations where we might be miscuring information or things like that. And then, ah, oh, hey, 
Now this one gets a little bit more interesting. This is pay 2,000 life points, declare a monster card name. Your opponent looks at their deck, reveals one of the declared monsters, if there is any, and chooses one of these effects. So the declared monster is added to the hand of the player who activated this card. Once again, with the first three cards, this is an easy resolution. Or the player who activated this card special summons a declared monster to their field, ignoring summoning conditions. Looped into the same previous three cards, um, they just want to probably make sure that you have card text present on hand with these things versus something like Gamma Seal that doesn't really interact too well with this. Ah! Gift exchange. Both players banish one card from their decks face down, and if they do, during the end phase of this turn, both players add to their hands the card their opponents banished by this effect. Now, I understand that this one is a paradoxical nightmare, all right? Uh, you're uh, considering, okay, so exchange is doable, Amazon's Chain Master is doable, Lullaby is doable to a degree, which I also feel. Now, this is where we start to get hazy here, all right? So, both players banishing the cards face down and then giving them to the opponent at this point in time. I understand why this one's banned. This is just now you're becoming too much information to manage, I feel like. So this one is okay. All right. Now, this is just all right. This is this is understandable too. Offer your opponent a handshake. If they accept your handshake, each player's life points become half of their combined life points. Of both players. If you have unity in your hand, show it to your opponent and they must accept the handshake. Now, this is where all the her -der 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 memes come in, where it's like, well, my opponent can't shake my hand. You know, they can't resolve the card, so, you know, it's an illegal act of. <sighs> the community is crazy bad with these things, but Konami took the precaution and said, well, you can't offer an E handshake. All right, you guys. You guys can give me a nice firm handshake right now. See, shake it, all right? Put your hand up, shake it, all right? See, you just gave your favorite M. Cole 40 a handshake, and I appreciate you for that, all right? But Konami finally banned Yujo Friendship for the premise of you can't do an E handshake, all right? Except for us. We're cool, all right? And then we got Parasite Parasite. This one I feel like would be easy to manage, but... On the premise of your opponent shuffling the deck, they, they could be cheating with the placement of it, so I get this. So this is the one that's flipped, put this face-up card into your opponent's deck, shuffle it. When your opponent draws this card, it is special summoned to their side of the field in face-up defense position, they take a thousand damage. Then while this card is face-up on the field, all monster opponent controls become insect. But this is the one that, it shovels itself into the deck face-up. And trust me, if I have a stack of cards here, and I have said card face-up here, and I'm shuffling, you can belligerently cheat, and that's not good, all right? So I understand why Konami ended up putting that card to one. I guess, once again, like, if you really, you grab Sleeve here, write Parasite on it, shuffle it, but once again, it becomes an issue here where players are cheating, and that's not something that you want to deal with in a remote dual setting. And then I see here, Transmission Gear, hmm. During damage calculation, if your opponent battles, an, or yeah, if your monster battles opponent's monster, play rock, paper, scissors with your opponent. Make the losing player banish the battling monster they control face down. Well, this, this is also a nightmare. I, you can play RPS with your opponent, but due to lag, <laughs> uh, the person who's actually resolving might just be able to cheat and resolve RPS. You know, like, it's, it's, it's a fuzzy place, all right? So I understand why we went ahead and we banned this from being able to happen in remote duels. Honestly, th these cards all make sense to a degree. Uh, exchange, like I said, and Amazon is could, I guess, resolve, but it's it's interesting. So, yay, Konami finally banned Yujo Friendship. All right, let the memes fall into line, and I expect people to go, oh, they actually did it can't shake your opponent's hand on the internet i get that all right so all jokes aside all right so parasite parasite Yujo friendship gift exchange transmission gear chain master and exchange are not to be used in remote duels because they can't properly resolve it all makes sense so i'm very happy to see these docs up please if you're remote dueling please don't cheat all right please keep it fair like the card game is meant to be and i actually am very happy to see this doc out all right guys I'm out. Take care. Peace and have a good rest of your day.
Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Card Fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mco 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcogames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.